Okay, let me look at this for a minute. Okay. Coming from the recent past and when I talk this this set of readings when I talk about the recent past I'm talking about the last few months when Venus was retrograde because we had the Pisces eclipse at the end of February which spoke to new beginnings and then right after that Venus went retrograde and it was retrograde in your sign and then went to Aries and then back to Pisces and so it was extremely emotional for a lot of people, a lot of introspection, a lot of retrospection, and trying to figure out where the emotions were with respect to anything in your life. But since we're talking about your love life here, you were trying to figure out where the emotions stood. Now, the reason why I'm even talking about that, Pisces, is because Venus is no longer retrograde, it's direct, but there's still three planets retrograde, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mercury, which still speaks to confusion and introspection. And then Pluto is going retrograde. So this, and I'm, I'm filming this at the end of April, so this is all happening right now. So there's still a lot of intensity around emotions and what's happening, specifically in love. And the reason why I'm talking about that is because we have, in your recent past, the Five of Wands reversed. And this speaks to a, a lessening of intense activities and intense communications that were frustrating, but on a, on a good level. So it's as if there were communications that were not so sarcastic and not so emotional, but there was still this sense, this underlying sense of pushing and pulling of who's going to really kind of win this or who, you know, it's fun and flirty, but there's a sarcastic undertone there when this card's upright, when this card's upright. But since it's reversed, that, that's gone, that's lessened. So either there's not been activity or, or you've been wanting it, or the interaction has just been kind of there, but not necessarily good or bad. So it's, it's kind of a stable place where things started to warm up. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because your primary card for the, your love life in May is the Queen of Cups, and this is you. This speaks to, or, or you may have a watery energy in your love life. So there's somebody, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or heavy water energies in their rising sign, moon sign, Venus sign, that speaks very heavily to how they interact with people in love. A very emotionally charismatic personality. So another term for that can be drama queen, but I don't think it needs to have any sort of negative connotation because that's a very beautiful energy, whether it is you or your partner, that's a very beautiful energy because to be so in tune and warm and kind and helpful and generous with emotions, that speaks to somebody that genuinely has, has genuine feelings and care and cares about you or cares about the situation or the outcome. And what's crossing this energy is you, Pisces, the hanged man. This is the Pisces card, or one of them. And this is a card of trials overcome, getting through something. But after a time of introspection and looking for guidance or some sort of internal insight through your gut mechanism, your, your comp the compass of your soul. So taking a pause in a scenario before jumping to conclusions, things are kind of on a stable ground, there is emotion, but taking a pause 
to make sure within yourself that this is something that you or they are wanting to work through. Because ultimately this card means trials overcome. So this is a beautiful energy to start your May off with. Now what's grounding your love life in May is the Seven of Pentacles reversed. And this speaks to not putting forth or not wanting to put forth a lot of effort into making something grow, making something develop with respect to love. And in tarot, where there's card, the cards go from 1 to 10, and then you have the court cards. And there's 1 is a beginning, an ace. And then the 10 is the ultimate level, the highest point, the highest level of success, material gains, the highest level of love we see in the 10 of cups, the highest level of activity, which we see in the 10 of wands, and the highest level of pain and and feeling and thought, which we see in the Ten of Swords. So the reason why I'm saying that is because along that way, along that path, there's hiccup points. And those hiccup points tend to be in the numbers three, five, and seven. Now, the beauty with the seventh card of any of these of any of these suits really is that you're so close to the end that even though it's a hiccup, you're still progressing because you want to get to the end because you're seeing the end point. It's in sight. And so even though when this card's upright, even though he's tired and he's sick of working on it and it's not growing fast enough, even though there's those feelings, he's still pushing through to the end because the end is in sight. And the Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful ending. It's a card of success and money and material wealth. So with this being reversed with respect to your love life, Pisces, this means that you, one, may not fully see the end in sight, or maybe you don't want to look down that pathway. So there's this kind of ignoring that, those next steps, or not wanting to go to those next steps, but also just wanting to stay in this place with your love life or with somebody that and hoping that it doesn't require a lot more work because ultimately you're kind of getting tired and you're wanting to take a pause while you sift through the emotions. Because things may have been frustrating, but now they're not. So there's a little confusion there in a good way. But it's impacting you because what's crowning your May is the strength card reverse. So this speaks to insecurity. Insecurity about your partner. Maybe your partner's insecure. Maybe that's uh, impacting the relationship. Maybe there's a pause because you need to, you're wanting your partner to figure out their life. Or maybe there's a pause because you want to step back and figure and get back to your core base levels after this emotional time we've had. And so there's this pause and this acknowledgement of the good place, but it probably could be easier. So let's just see if it can be and do and trying to figure out, do I want to overcome this place that I'm in with this person? Is it worth it? There's definitely a lot of emotion associated with that person or that scenario. But maybe it's something we can't work out together because we, we or they or I have internal work to do first before I make some sort of progression in my love life with or without this person. With or without this person. There's still work to be done. And in your future, we have the Knight of Swords. This speaks to a very rash, unthought out action that can be cutting in a way. It can be, it can be a disastrous energy because it's coming in with uh, possibly a good intention, but the complete wrong, completely wrong approach 
or they'll receive it as the completely wrong approach. And it may not at all be what the actual intention was. And it's because this Knight of Swords, which is an air energy, but I'm not saying that this means that your partner is an air energy or that you're taking on an air energy. But what I'm speaking to is that it's emotionally driven and it has caused this emotion and this pause has fueled emotions, possibly fueled insecurity, and it's causing something to take place where there is a, a where there is an approach that's not fully thought out and not clear in what the intention actually was. So it can be a little fearful for the recipient of that. But the intention is always good. I mean, he sees he's ready for battle and he sees this house burning down, i.e. a relationship. And he says, he or she says, oh, I have to take matters into my own hand and fix this. I, I, I can't wait any longer because if I wait, they might be gone or this fight might get worse or this wedge might get bigger or they might get angrier or, or something. So I have to take action right now. I have to do what I have to do no matter what. And that can be dangerous, dangerous energy because really what is needing to be done and it speaks very clearly to why this is in your challenge and your benefit position is because it might be very hard to not take action but it is the right move to take pause it's hard to pause when you really want to take action but it is the correct approach how you're feeling about your partner or love interest or love life is the Ace of Cups. So there's emotion. There's a lot of emotion behind what you are feeling and or doing. And this, if this is you that's being insecure, and I'm not saying that it is, it could be your partner, but if this is you that's being insecure, Pisces, it's because there is a lot of emotion behind and there's a lot of hope for a new beginning. There's a lot of hope that it won't be so hard anymore. And what can I do to come and fix it? But just pause, 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 pause. And if your partner is doing this, tell them to pause. Let's take some time. And time can mean a few days, it can mean a few weeks, it can mean a few, you know, a month, two months. Pause. Focus on ourselves. Because I believe in my love. I believe in us. I believe in you. And we are good. But we can't be rash about how we're trying to fix things. Because fixing things is... It takes effort. And I don't know that we're in a place to take to make that effort right now. This, unlike the Ace of Wands that popped out in the beginning, that speaks, Aces are, uh, Wands are fiery energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so it speaks to action. And the Aces of Beginnings was very passionate. Very, it can be, it can be a, considered a phallic card because it can be very sexual in terms of that type of expression of emotion. Whereas, and that differs greatly from this card because while there might be a lot of passion, and I'm mixing these two specifically because that card popped out. I'm mixing these two because there's more there than you're feeling anyway. That there's more emotion there than just passion. There is e deep emotions. There is caring. There's gratitude. There are deep feelings there. Now, how your partner is feeling about the situation, or you, or how your outside world is viewing your love life, is the Five of Cups. And they're viewing this as something that 
has a negative connotation to it. They're, or they're just focusing on the negative aspects when in reality there's beautiful, there's a beautiful future, there's a beautiful outcome, and it's right there. They just are choosing to focus on the wrong side of it. And it's very interesting because this card is, is very promising because in traditional Rider weight, there's three cups that are over, that are spelled and two that are upright. But I love this deck because there's only two that are spelled, really indicating that the bad stuff really wasn't that bad at all. And it just was your or their perspective that it was so negative. So it really wasn't that bad. And there's three full cups. Cups represent the chalice is holds water, which represents emotions, and that speaks to water signs. And there's three. And not only are there three, but there's a promise of, a, of more emotion, more feelings. If this person just chooses to turn around and look at the positive side and walk through this door to this sunny place, this place of happiness, there's more. There's growth. And there's more emotions where that, where that is. So can you see the dichotomy here, Pisces, and how differently you are both viewing the relationship? And yet there's still this sense of urgency because there's still this faith and hope that there may actually really be something good there. You know they really aren't sure and it's by their own doing. And I like these placements because they're actually both, while they're focusing on the, the complete opposite things, they're both leaning in towards each other as if there's this some sort of like they're being pushed together. Even the wind in the storm is pushing him this way towards these feelings. Okay, now in your hopes and your fears position, we have the five of pentacles. So you're really fearing, this is you, how you, your hopes, your fears, Pisces. You are feeling that you are going to be left out in the cold. You're feeling that you may encounter with this partner poverty and frustration and there's still love there because they are regardless they're still staying together but again in the traditional traditional right or way it's one person's kind of walking away from the other because it's it indicates being one person leaving the other person out in the cold not doing what's beneficial for their partner it's as if they are What's the word I'm looking for? Like assisting in the negativity. So this is your fear. You don't want it to be like this. You're very afraid that if this action is taken, and that could be why you're not sure you want to do all this work or that you want to work on this relationship together because there's this fear of, I really am, have a lot of emotions toward this person. I really love them. And I really want to fix this, but is it is this really an inevitable end state for the relationship? Because I, we need to still just pause. <laughs> now in the outcome position, Pisces, we have the sun card reversed. So this can speak to a situation where there is not a successful outcome. And it could be because the focus is on the wrong thing. The focus is on the wrong thing. The work is not wanting to be done. And without that, without the correct focus, without the correct approach, without the correct communication and building together, without that, without strength and confidence, this can be a positive card. There can be success. Without those things, this will be the outcome. And I think intuitively, Pisces, 
you kind of know that. So you don't want anything to go away. There's a lot of emotions there, but you really need to watch your approach and you really need to realize, they may too, that the actual work needs to be done on the relationship and on each, each other independently. Because there's a confidence issue. There's an insecurity issue here in this relationship. It's crowning the whole relationship, the whole reading. And this lack of willingness to put work in the right type of work, because this is the wrong type of work. The right type of work doesn't serve any purpose. It will lead to an unsuccessful outcome. Okay, what are the additional messages for Pisces with respect to this love reading for May? Additional messages for Pisces. I want to say one more thing. Well, let me pull these first. Additional messages for Pisces. King of Wands, Two of Pentacles, King of Knight of Pentacles. Again with earthly energy and work and building. And then again the others fiery energy. So first before I talk about these cards, I'm going to talk about the I talked about the retrogrades that we're having right now and then What's been very interesting for a lot of people is the, on April 11th, 10th, I can't remember the day, there was a full moon in Libra. And that was it. Very important, monumental full moon. And I know it feels like every full moon is monumental and every retrograde is monumental. But this was an interesting one because of all the emotions, because of all the sense of wanting to move forward, but all the emotions holding us back. This Libra full moon caused, the purpose of this full moon, emotionally, energetically, was to cause people, us, to look at our interactions and look at our relationships and build up a self-valuation of who we are, what we want, standing up for ourselves, building confidence, and not accepting behavior in our lives that didn't really meld with who we believe we are. But the most, the more important part of that is the self-valuation. I have people around me that I don't like, or I don't like how they're reacting to me or interacting with me, but I'm, I can't project this full moon was about you realizing and everybody realizing that that can't be, a, it's not their fault. They may be acting inappropriately, but they're definitely responding to me and in my interactions with them. They're responding to my projections. They are responding in a positive or negative way to the vibrations and energy or personality, however you want to view it, that I'm emitting. So... The only way to change anything in my life to something better than what it is, because I feel I deserve better, is to change myself. How do I communicate that's causing these interactions? How do I approach somebody that's causing these interactions? How do I direct and lead and guide and ask for things? Because it is in my approach that's getting these reactions. So that's what that full moon was about. And that's interesting because... This reading is clearly stating in your love life that there's still that introspection going on and you're still trying to figure out and it doesn't have really have anything to do with anybody else. It doesn't really have anything to do with this relationship because they may be pulling away because you're pushing in the wrong approach. You may be pulling away because they're pushing in the wrong approach. You may be insecure because you know really deep down that they might be hurt and you're not putting the work in or or you or they may have a very negative view of something 
So, but it comes down to you because you're the only one you can control and, and guide. So, wow, this is getting long. I apologize. Uh, these three cards, two of pentacles, you're weighing options. Where do I want to put my effort in? Because the pentacles, effort, tangible, building, growth. Where I have options, where do I want to put the energy into? How do I want to put the energy in? Now, this Knight of Wands, again, you very well could be dealing with the air sign, not Knight King. And it's a very confident, positive, optimistic person that has no fear of putting forth any amount of work into something. So they see the positive side of, I want to be here, then we have to put the work in. And I, I, I want to be with somebody who is going to want to put the work in. And and because I'm willing to do it. And I'm willing to go above and beyond. So very positive, optimistic, looking at the brighter side. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is a very slow approach. Very slow approach, but always progressing forward. But slowly, methodically, and it's very calculated and practiced and learned and well-read and well-researched. And so it's, there, there could be two people in your life you're juggling. There could be, or trying to figure out, one's definitely standing higher and more prominent in your mind than the other one, but you're not sure, you may be not sure which approach to take, or you may be not sure which person to choose, because they, they take very different approaches to life. Now, this is speaking to a possible earth sign approaching you. This is speaking to a possible air sign approaching you. And the king of wands doesn't approach anybody unless there's going to be some sort of positive outcome that everyone's going to be on the same team working towards.